Hello, my love. Good morning to you. I hope you are well. I hope that you slept extremely soundly last night. I hope you are getting enough sleep. It reminds me of a TED talk where I think I think it's I can't remember if it's called "Sleep is Your Superpower," but it, um, sleep is extremely important, um, as as you know, because I told you this throughout our time together. But I hope you slept well last night. I hope for today that you find a chance to smile at someone. I am thinking about you as always. And I was thinking also about the idea that you should not expect people to have your frame of reference. There was a time when the canon was the canon and and, and I'm not recur referring to one that shoots out cannonballs. I'm talking about the the body of work that everyone is familiar with, that they grew up with, the canon, that canon. There was a time when the canon was the canon. And then throughout my lifetime, it became more and more fragmented. And I realized, not only in terms of things like the canon as in works of literature and things like that, but even in terms of things of pop culture, people simply did not have my frame of reference. I remember I was in school once and I was referring to something in pop culture and someone who was some celebrity or something who was by celebrity standards extremely popular or well known and I was talking to a friend about this person and the friend had literally no idea who I was talking about. And it made me realize that not everyone is looking at the same thing. Not everyone has the same inputs. Something that I knew about, this person had no idea about. They simply were not interested. They did not follow movies. They did not follow television. They had no idea what I was talking about. And that's the point. People do not expect people to have your frame of reference. There is an increasing, there was throughout my life an increasing fragmentation of all of these things and niche became more and more niche, 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 whichever way you pronounce it. And tribes sort of became more tribal in certain regards in terms of not knowing about what else is going on around them. And it's very interesting and something to keep in mind as you approach others as a, and as you interact with others. I remember I had oral argument once and I had to, I was talking to the judge and I literally almost paused and I realized the judge has no idea which expert I am talking about. The judge is just not familiar with the facts of this case and I realized I had to pull back a ton and, and slowly introduce the, the expert and the relevance and yada yada. Um, it's just interesting. It goes back to throughout my life, I always thought that people would think the way I thought or knew what I knew. And they just don't. Um, people's frame of reference is extremely fragmented and different. So as you go out, go throughout your life, keep that in mind. Others will not, I think I've talked about this before, think like you. They will not have the same moral values as you. They will not have the same frame of reference as you. But there is so much exciting about that because there's so much to learn from others and to be open to and to experience and to discover. So I will leave it at that. Just keep in mind, I suppose, I would say as you go throughout your life that people will not have your frame of reference or at least do not expect them to. Um, the closer, the more you, you are homogenized, obviously, the more they will. But for what it's worth, take it or leave it. And I will tell you I love you. I will recommend, again, Shuffle Drones by Alluvium. Um, again, I'm doing, I'm, I'm just referring to albums instead of, I, I typically try and recommend artists that I love to you, but also... I figured I switched it. I was thinking about albums that I've listened to over and over and over again. And Shuffle Drones is one of them. So I thought I would share that with you. And with that, I will bid you adieu.